what happens if we do not have n c2 axes which are perpendicular to uh, cn principal axis in that case we have to ask whether we have a cn axis at all If we do have a CN axis, we check for a rotary reflection symmetry operation S2N. If this is available, then our point group is called in the same way, namely S2N. The example structure here is tetrafluorocyclooctatetraene, so it's an octene structure which has double bonds here, 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 and here. And in this particular case, we have a C2 rotation axis here. In the center of the molecule so what happens if you rotate it by 180 degrees is that this fluorine atom here becomes this fluorine atom here and this one becomes this one now let's see if we can apply the s to n symmetry operation so n in this case is Two because there's a C2 principal axis here. Two times two is four, meaning if we rotate the molecule by 90 degree, so just imagine you rotate the entire molecule by 90 degree counterclockwise. So meaning this fluorine atom moves here. And then afterwards you do a reflection then this fluorine atom here, which is now here, would become this fluorine atom down here. And so indeed, there is a rotary reflection symmetry operation possible. And this molecule we are actually identifying by the point group S4. If you do not have an S2N symmetry operation, is possible then we need to ask if there is a sigma h reflection plane if there is a horizontal reflection plane then we call this point group c n h the example here is transdichloroethene. So let's start with the double bond between the two carbon atoms. Here we have hydrogen, chlorine, and here in transposition, there's the other chlorine atom, hydrogen again. You are the lone pairs and you see that there's a rotation axis here it's a c2 rotation axis and there's a horizontal mirror plane and the horizontal mirror plane is defined by the entire molecule so this particular point group we would call c2h If there's no horizontal mirror plane, we should look for a vertical mirror plane. If we find one, our point group will be called CNV. Our water molecule is a perfect example for such a point group. Here 
we already know that right here we have our C2 rotation axis and in addition we have the vertical reflection plane right here going through the oxygen atom. So far all our molecules had a rotation axis. Now what happens if we don't have any rotation axis? Let's see if we find um, at least a reflection plane, no matter in which orientation. If there is one, we call this point group CS. Let's take again the tetrahedron as our example structure. And in this case, we take a derivative of methane. So here we have the hydrogen atoms. And here we substitute one hydrogen atom by one chlorine atom and here one by a bromine atom. And the reflection plane could go through these atoms here. If there's no reflection plane at all, let's investigate if there is an inversion center. If we have one, we call the point group CI. And here's our example structure. So here we have the carbon atoms. And now we have to substitute some of the hydrogen atoms. So this one we keep, but this one we substitute by a chlorine atom and this one by a bromine atom. Down here we keep this hydrogen atom and substitute this one down here by a bromine atom. And this one here by a chlorine atom. And the inversion center for this molecule would be right here. So meaning if you invert this carbon atom, you get this carbon atom. For this chlorine, you end up with this chlorine, bromine, this bromine. And for this hydrogen atom, you end up with this hydrogen atom after you do the inversion symmetry operation. And if you don't even have an inversion symmetry center, then we call, and this is, I promise you, the last point group, C1, meaning the molecule has no symmetry. Most of the molecules in organic chemistry belong to this point group C1. Nevertheless, let's pick one example. Let's use our tetrahedron again. And now we have to substitute in our methane molecule three hydrogen atoms by different atoms. Let's use a chlorine atom here, fluorine atom here, and the bromine atom here. And yeah, no symmetry operation, except the identity operation is possible for this molecule. And though that's why we call it point group C1.